A spheroid, or ellipsoid of revolution, is a quadric surface obtained by rotating an ellipse about one of its principal axes, in other words, an ellipsoid with two equal semi-diameters. A spheroid has circular symmetry. If the ellipse is rotated about its major axis, the result is a prolate elongated spheroid, shaped like an American football or rugby ball. If the ellipse is rotated about its minor axis, the result is an oblate flattened spheroid, shaped like a lentil. If the generating ellipse is a circle, the result is a sphere. Due to the combined effects of gravity and rotation, the figure of the Earth and of all planets is not quite a sphere, but instead is slightly flattened in the direction of its axis of rotation. For that reason, in cartography the Earth is often approximated by an oblate spheroid instead of a sphere. The current World Geodetic System model uses a spheroid whose radius is 6378.137 kilometers, 3963.191 miles at the equator and 6356.752 kilometers, 3949.903 miles at the poles. The word spheroid originally meant an approximately spherical body admitting irregularities even beyond the bi or tri-axial ellipsoidal shape, and that is how the term is used in some older papers on geodesy for example, referring to truncated spherical harmonic expansions of the Earth. Equation The equation of a tri-axial ellipsoid centered at the origin with semi-axes A, B and C aligned along the coordinate axes is x 2 a 2 plus y 2 b 2 plus z 2 c 2 equals 1 Display style FRAC x carrot two a carrot two plus FRAC Y carrot two B carrot two plus FRAC Z carrot two C carrot two equals one. The equation of a spheroid with Z as the symmetry axis is given by setting a equals B, x two plus Y two a two plus Z two C two equals one. Display style frac x caret two plus y caret two a caret two plus frac z caret two c caret two equals one. The semi-axis a is the equatorial radius of the spheroid, and c is the distance from center to pole along the symmetry axis. There are two possible cases: c c greater than a prolate spheroid case of a equals c reduces to a sphere. Topic properties Topic Area An oblate spheroid with CSOB LATE equals 2 pi a 2 1 plus 1 minus E2 E artan E equals 2 pi a 2 plus pi C2 E lane 1 plus E1 minus E where E2 equals 1 minus C 2 a 2 Display style s underscore erm oblate equals two pi a caret two left one plus frac one e caret two e text artan e right equals two pi a caret two plus pi frac c caret two e lane left frac one plus e one e right quad m box where quad e caret two equals one frac c caret two a caret two the oblate spheroid is generated by rotation about the z-axis of an ellipse with semi-major axis A and semi-minor axis C, therefore E may be identified as the eccentricity, C ellipse, a prolate spheroid with C greater than A has surface area S P R O L A T E equals 2 pi Two one plus C A E arcsine E where E two equals one minus a two C two Display style s underscore erm prolate equals two pi a caret two left one plus frac c a arc sine e right q quad m box where q quad e caret two equals one frac a caret two c caret two. The prolate spheroid is generated by rotation about the z-axis of an ellipse with semi-major axis c and semi-minor axis a. Therefore, e may again be identified as the eccentricity c ellipse. 
These formulas are identical in the sense that the formula for soblate can be used to calculate the surface area of a prolate spheroid and vice versa. However, E then becomes imaginary and can no longer directly be identified with the eccentricity. Both of these results may be cast into many other forms using standard mathematical identities and relations between parameters of the ellipse. Volume The volume inside a spheroid of any kind is 4 pi 3 a 2 c approximately equals 4.19 a 2 c display style frac 4 pi 3 a caret 2 c approximately 4.19 a caret 2 c if a equals 2 a display style a equals 2 a is the equatorial diameter and c equals 2 c display style c equals 2 c is the polar diameter the volume is pi 6 a 2 c approximately equals 0.523 a 2 c display style frac pi 6 a caret 2 c approximately 0.523 a caret 2 c topic curvature if a spheroid is parameterized as sigma beta lambda equals a cos beta cos lambda a cos beta sin lambda c sin beta display style vec sigma beta lambda equals a cos beta cos lambda a cos beta sin lambda c sin beta where beta is the reduced or parametric latitude lambda is the longitude and minus pi 2k beta lambda equals c2 a 2 plus c2 minus a 2 cos 2 beta 2 Display style k beta lambda equals c caret two over a caret two plus c caret two a caret two cos caret two beta caret two, and its mean curvature is h beta lambda equals c two a two plus c two minus Cos two beta two a a two plus c two minus a two cos two beta three two Display style h beta lambda equals c two a caret two plus c caret two a caret two cos caret two beta over two a a caret two plus c caret two a caret two cos caret two beta caret three halves. Both of these curvatures are always positive, so that every point on a spheroid is elliptic. Topic aspect ratio. The aspect ratio of an oblate spheroid, ellipse, b, a, is the ratio of the polar to equatorial lengths, while the flattening also called oblateness f, is the ratio of the equatorial polar length difference to the equatorial length f equals a minus b a equals 1 minus b a Display style f equals frac a b a equals one frac b a. The first eccentricity, usually simply eccentricity, as above, is often used instead of flattening. It is defined by e equals one minus b two a two. Display style e equals sqrt 1 frac b caret 2 a caret 2. The relations between eccentricity and flattening are e equals 2 f minus f 2. Display style e equals sqrt 2 ff caret 2 f equals 
1 minus 1 minus e 2 display style f equals 1 sqrt 1 e caret 2 all modern geodetic ellipsoids are defined by the semi-major axis plus either the semi-minor axis giving the aspect ratio, the flattening, or the first eccentricity. While these definitions are mathematically interchangeable, real-world calculations must lose some precision. To avoid confusion, an ellipsoidal definition considers its own values to be exact in the form it gives. Applications. <laughs> <laughs> The most common shapes for the density distribution of protons and neutrons in an atomic nucleus are spherical, prolate, and oblate spheroidal, where the polar axis is assumed to be the spin axis or direction of the spin angular momentum vector. Deformed nuclear shapes occur as a result of the competition between electromagnetic repulsion between protons, surface tension and quantum shell effects. Topic: <laughs> Oblate spheroids. The oblate spheroid is the approximate shape of many planets and celestial bodies, including Saturn, Jupiter and the quickly spinning star, Altair. Enlightenment scientist Isaac Newton, working from Jean Richer's pendulum experiments and Christian Huygens's theories for their interpretation, reasoned that Jupiter and Earth are oblate spheroids owing to their centrifugal force. Earth's diverse cartographic and geodetic systems are based on reference ellipsoids, all of which are oblate. A science fiction example of an extremely oblate planet is Mesklin from Hal Clement's novel Mission of Gravity. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Prolate spheroids. The prolate spheroid is the shape of the ball in several sports, such as in rugby football. Several moons of the solar system approximate prolate spheroids in shape, though they are actually triaxial ellipsoids. Examples are Saturn's satellites Mimas, Enceladus, and Tethys and Uranus's satellite Miranda. In contrast to being distorted into oblate spheroids via rapid rotation, celestial objects distort slightly into prolate spheroids via tidal forces when they orbit a massive body in a close orbit. The most extreme example is Jupiter's moon Io, which becomes slightly more or less prolate in its orbit due to a slight eccentricity, causing spectacular volcanism. The major axis of the prolate spheroid does not run through the satellite's poles in this case, but through the two points on its equator directly facing toward and away from the primary. A famous example in science fiction is Jinx in Larry Niven's Known Space. The term is also used to describe the shape of some nebulae such as the Crab Nebula. Fresnel zones, used to analyze wave propagation and interference in space, are a series of concentric prolate spheroids with principal axes aligned along the direct line of sight between a transmitter and a receiver. The atomic nuclei of the actinide elements are shaped like prolate spheroids. In anatomy, near spheroid organs such as testis may be measured by their long and short axes. Many submarines have a shape which can be described as prolate spheroid. Topic: Dynamical properties. The moment of inertia of a spheroid is that of an ellipsoid with an additional axis of symmetry. Given a description of a spheroid as having a major axis c and minor axes a and b, the moments of inertia along these principal axes are c, a, and b. However, in a spheroid, the minor axes are symmetrical. Therefore, our inertial terms along the major axes are a equals B equals one five M A two plus C two Display style A equals B equals FRAC one five M A carrot two plus C carrot two C equals one five M A two plus a 2 equals 2 5 m a 2 display style c equals frac 1 5 m a caret 2 plus a caret 2 equals frac 2 5 m a caret 2 where m is the mass of the body defined as m equals 4 3 
pi rho c a 2 display style m equals frac 4 3 pi rho c a caret 2 topic see also equatorial bulge lentoid oblate spheroidal coordinates ovoid prolate spheroidal coordinates rotation of axes translation of axes topic references <references>